Okay. So this one you can able to see here. Yeah? So Java terminologies, JDK, JRE, JVM. So basically for interview preparation. Okay. So if you go to any companies, definitely they will ask. Uh, there is no exception in this. Definitely they will ask. So what do you mean by JDK? What do you mean by JRE? Definitely they will ask. See guys, I will tell you the programming language is very, very important for any computer science student like that. When you are learning a Java program, you must know what do you mean by JDK? What do you mean by JRE? What do you mean by JVM and JIT? Okay, I haven't mentioned yet, but JIT just in time. That also I will explain. So very, very important for interview preparation, especially product based companies. So we know that product based companies like Google, Microsoft, again, a fang companies, almost all. Okay, Apple, Amazon, such kind of companies. Okay, we will see one by one. Okay, so see when you start learning the program, so that is Java. So what you need to understand here very clearly, the important thing is you need to understand the ecosystem. Okay, so very, very important one. You need to understand the ecosystem. Sir, you can ask me, sir, what is this ecosystem? See, example you take like this. So here we have uh, the ecosystem like this. On the earth, we can able to sustain because the ecosystem is like that. Okay, we need oxygen, food, everything, whatever the things which are required for livelihood to live on the earth. We need so many things like that here. If you want to write a program, please understand this one. If you want to write a Java program, you must have a Java ecosystem. Okay, this is very, very important. So this ecosystem without ecosystem, you cannot write a not even a single program or single line in Java. Okay, that is the reason why ecosystem is very, very important. Okay. So this is a configuration. So whatever the things I am talking about here related to ecosystem, it's all about configuring the system to execute the Java programs. Getting? We are configuring the system, nothing but your laptop or your machine. I am configuring the, my machine to execute the Java programs. That is the reason why we will say it is a Java ecosystem here. Okay. Let's see, there are three components are there, important components. Okay, so either you call this one as a module, no problem. Okay, that is JDK, JRE, as well as JVM. So one thing I will tell you, what do you mean by JDK is nothing but the acronym for JDK is, that is Java Development Kit. Okay, so what is the acronym for JRE is nothing but that is Java Runtime Environment. So again, what is the acronym for JVM is nothing but Java Virtual Machine. Clear everyone? Everybody clear? This is the full form. Java development kit, Java runtime environment, Java virtual machine. So these are three important things. Okay. You should have in your Java ecosystem. Then you are eligible to execute the programs. Or your machine is supported to execute the programs. Your machine is supportable. That is what exactly you need to know about this ecosystem. I think everybody clear. Clear? Please use the chat process so that I can able to understand you people are getting like that. We have a chat system now so that you can able to use it. Okay, fine. Thank you. So either you can raise your hands, you can able to have a chat process. So many options are available. You can use it. Okay, fine. Thank you. So let's uh, dive into the ecosystem so that we can see what are the things are there. Again, what we have to do with all these things. Let's see one by one. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the important before understanding all this JDK, JVM and JRE. Okay. So we will understand few more things. That is one important thing is interpreter as well as compiler. For example, I will tell you, if you go to C and C++, you will going to find the uh, compiler. But when it comes to Java, you will going to find one more important thing is, this is an interpreter is a software. Compiler is a software. Compiler is also a software. So it consists of a lot of programs so that when you are going to give us a high level programming, 
to this particular compiler, it will going to convert the high level language into machine code. That is what exactly we know. Already we know about all those things. So before understanding all these things, let uh, we will uh, know about what is this interpreter, what is this compiler. We will going to see this one. Okay, very very important. We will see this. Okay. See compiler when it's come uh, come to compiler, you can see here when it comes to compiler. So what we will do? The compiler is a program. I told you basically compiler is a software. Please understand here. Basically compiler is a software. Nothing but it is a piece of a program. One piece of program. Okay. That takes the code in I level language. Nothing but English. Understanding everyone. That is English. I level language is nothing but English. Okay. It will going to takes the code in I level language. That language which human used to code containing English words and devoid of any machine related to instructions. What is this? Nothing but so this software. Suppose think like that. This is our source code. Think like that. This is our source code. Example, I am writing a C program. So this is our C code. Okay. Nothing but we will call this one as a source code. Yes or not? So here. If I want to get the output of this source code, means I have to give the source code to computer. Okay, so this source code cannot able to understand by computer. So that is the reason why what we will going to do. We will going to create one compiler here. Yes or not? We will going to create one compiler. It is a software. Compiler is a software basically. Okay, I will going to give the input to this compiler. Okay, it is a software. What it will do? It will going to convert this entire code into. Please understand. We will going to convert this entire code into machine level code. That code can able to understand by computer. Yes or not? That code can able to understand by computer CPU. We will going to give it to the CPU. Okay. So this will going to convert the entire code. Okay. Whatever the source code we have here, you can able to see whatever the source code is there. We will going to convert this code. Using compiler, this is the compiler. Okay, this is the compiler. This compiler, what it will going to do? It will going to convert entire source code into machine code. So that machine code can be understand. Okay, by CPU. CPU will going to understand that machine code. So that is the reason why CPU will understand all those code. Nothing but it is an instruction. Yes or not? It is an instruction. The CPU will going to understand the instruction. Finally, what we will going to see, we will going to see the output. Yes or not? We will going to see the output. But one more important thing you need to understand: com compiler will going to generate the object code. Okay, so it will going to generate the object code. Finally, we will going to get one file that is called as executable file. Yes or not? This executable file will be executed in the CPU. That is what exactly you need to understand. So we will going to have a source code. That source code will be given to the compiler. Compiler will going to provide a object code. Yes or not? Object code. That object code. Further, it will going to produce the executable code. Yes or not? So that executable code will be given to the CPU. Finally, CPU will going to produce the output. Yes or not? So this is what exactly it will going to happen in your C program. Okay. So that is the reason why compilers are very very important. Okay. So suppose you wanted to convert any code means you need a compiler here. Clear? Everybody clear with the compiler? Anybody have doubts? Please let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. If you don't understand, let me know. Guys, yes or no? Tell me, are you understand or not? Guys, are you understood or not? Understood, sir. Okay. Mention in chat, yes, like that. Okay. That will be better, right? Thank you, guys. Uh, see here. That is what exactly. So here we have a come uh, we have a source code. Give the source code to the compiler. It will going to generate object code. After that, from the object code, you will going to get the executable file. This executable file given to the CPU. Finally, you will going to get the Output. This is what exactly the your compiler will going to do. Okay, sir. We understood about the compiler, but what is this? Basically, 
interpreter we're going to do in the java i will tell you that one okay let's see this one uh, the idea is very simple you write a program in a language x like any language like uh, c or c plus plus okay c or c plus plus that is what x is nothing but that you understand nothing but what human can able to understand this okay and it translates that into a semantically equivalent program into another language another language is nothing but this is x is nothing but machine level language okay another language is nothing but machine level language nothing but what so this compiler okay i think like this is a source code you will going to give the source code to the compiler okay here yeah, compiler this compiler have ability to convert that language into some other language which is understandable by machine clear you will going to give the source code to the compiler this compiler have the ability to convert the language into some other language that language can be understandable by who machine your computer okay so finally that computer will going to understand that particular code finally you will going to get the output this is the process will going to happen in the compiler that is what exactly we have written here so that is the reason why they will say hardware cpu can understand yes or not clear i think everybody clear so it will go to the cpu okay here you can able to see it will go to the cpu finally you will going to get the beautiful output then you will be happy okay then you will be happy this is what exactly the compiler process will going to happen once the compiler translate all the source code into machine code the compiler's job is done this is very very important line so please understand whatever the things we have written here everything is important here see only thing is what is the job of the compiler is nothing but only it wants to convert the entire code which is understandable by humans okay that will convert that code into machine code nothing but that uh, code will be understandable by cpu or hardware okay so that is the job compiler job so it will going to convert that one so that job is done finally the cpu will going to take care so it will understand the entire code after that it will going to generate the output suppose you wanted to execute the allow world okay simple code but mean that what it will do the compiler will going to convert all those codes into machine code the, uh, then cpu will going to understand that one finally it will going to give you the output so in wa what format again it is in the i level format okay nothing but i level language format so that is what you need to know the programmer can run the compiler uh, compiled code as many times as they want different inputs okay you can uh, run it no problem so how many times you want it to run you can able to run it again i will show you for this example okay about this compiler for this example i will show you don't worry see here if you go to the um, something like hacker rank if you want you can able to understand this one if you want it you can take the snapshot of this what exactly means when you run this compiler automatically it will going to see basically what what do you mean by compiler so it will going to take the source code okay it will going to convert that language into some other language which is understandable by machine yes or not so that is more than enough okay that is more than enough after that so when you uh, this code will be given to the cpu cpu will going to test all the code okay no need to compile once again so once is, it is more than enough that is what exactly they, these people will going to say about this okay clear i think uh, if you are not able to understand this one basically this is little bit complex one uh, hacker rank if you want it you can able to open an account in hacker rank so there you can able to find lot of programs you can able to practice over there okay these are all test cases test 1 test 2 test 3 test 4 okay so what is this meaning is nothing but give the code to the compiler so compile it once the compilation is done the cpu will going to understand that code again it will going to execute the output so when so this thing like this this is the small uh, small piece of code i will going to do the compilation automatically that code will be captured here and it will going to test all the cases no need to compile once again for test one cases test two cases test three cases like that once you compile that is enough okay just once you do the compilation that is enough it will understand test one test two test three for all the test cases that compilation code is more than enough like that this is what so once the machine validates all the outputs of multiple runs then result will be displayed after some time that is what exactly i am talking about 
if you don't understand this one no problem right now okay it is not that much important fine clear everyone about the compiler guys everybody clear let me know in the chat guys if you people are clear means let me know okay okay thank you so let's move further so let's talk about this one okay before talking about jdk all those things we will talk about interpreter it's a very very important one i will explain you very clearly so just watch and uh, please concentrate here so very very important concept this is please watch here okay just watch here i will show you okay interpreter please read the lines an interpreter is also a translator this is also in a translator which takes a program in i level language and converts into machine level code however it will not run you any executable unlike compiler so uh, i told you right so as like compiler it will not going to work i will show you that one don't worry right now it will actually translates and execute the code immediately giving you the output of your program i will tell you what is this exactly suppose think like that we have a source code like this think like that this is a source code i will say s yes. okay so what i will going to do i will going to create a compiler here so one compiler will be there okay compiler again here okay i will going to provide interpreter here interpreter okay again here you will going to have a cpu uh, example your cpu is x86 cpu hardware i am talking about x86 hardware okay this is your cpu okay again on cpu you can able to find the operating side, uh, operating system like windows operating system yes or not operating system like this uh, take it as a windows see here guys this is hll what do you mean by hll is nothing but i level language okay clear what do you mean by hll is nothing but i level language okay this is the source code this code can be understand by by only humans okay like we we can able to understand the code this code will be given to the compiler here okay what i will do i will going to give you the code to compiler here okay this is a compiler okay compiler so what it will do when you give the source code to this particular compiler once you compile okay once you compile okay just once just once you need to compile it will going to generate a code in java what it will going to generate it will going to generate a code that is called it as a byte code please understand that is called it as a byte code byte code it will going to generate clear everyone but when you go to the c and all directly it will going to compile again it will going to give it to the cpu okay it will going to give it to the cpu again you will going to find the output but here it is not like that when it comes to java it is here it is not like that compiler will going to convert but it will going to generate only byte code okay only byte code so this code will be given to please understand here this code will be given to okay so nothing but what this compiler will going to generate a machine code okay this is also byte code is also machine code but this code cannot able to understand okay the cpu cannot able to understand this machine code that code we will call it as a byte code clear everyone this compiler will going to generate a machine code but this code cannot be uh, cannot uh, this cpu cannot able to understand this machine code that code we will call it as a byte code okay this code will be given to interpreter please understand this code will be given to interpreter here you will going to find a interpreter okay so where it is available 
on operating system on operating system you will going to find this interpreter okay so basically we will call uh, we will call this one as a jvm okay what it will do this interpreter line by line okay line by line it will going to compile okay line by line it will going to check it okay again one more important thing you need to understand about the interpreter here is nothing but it will going to check this line okay if this line is correct it will going to execute it will going to check this line if this line is correct it will going to execute in the cpu if this line is not correct okay then it, it will not going to move okay it will not going to move further so that is the one important thing you need to understand but when it comes to the compiler so it will going to compile this line if it will going to compile this line if this line is not correct it's okay it will not going to worried about this line still it will going to compile this line yes or not so this is what the beauty of compiler but here there are lot of restrictions if it is not working if this line is having some error means it will not going to move further okay that is the reason why so that's the reason why they will going to provide the intelligence as well as lot of options you will going to get it so that at a time we can able to correct your java program this is what exactly you need to understand when it comes to compiler it will going to compile it line by line line by line if any line having error further it will not going to compile the next line okay so here it will going to compile so here it will going to compile here it will going to compile again in this line you have some error so immediately what happens it will not going to move the control to next line it will going to stop here okay it will going to say there is some error please uh, check this error and uh, uh, finish the error okay so bug is there so you clear the bug so that we can able to move further and we, i can able to execute okay i can able to convert this code like that okay so that is what exactly the interpreter will going to do i think everybody understood this one so interpreter what it will going to do it will going to check the byte code line by line okay line by line it will going to check if any line having error further the control will not going to move so what is this interpreter interpreter is also a software clear interpreter is also a software clear everyone guys everybody clear guys everyone clear anybody have problem let me know let me know anyone have problem with this interpreter interpreter always it will going to check the byte code line by line line by line line by line it will going to check if any line having problem further it will not going to compile any lines okay that is the one kind of drawback i will say so that is the reason why java is slow that is the reason why java is slow okay it takes lot of time so that is the reason why java is slow so it will going to take lot of time so that it will going to verify okay line by line line by line it will going to verify that is the reason why so compared to c java is little bit slow clear everybody clear let me know in the chat please okay let me know in the chat if you are clear so this is what we call it as interpreter okay fine so we'll go a little bit further now hmm. uh this one i will explain you later okay not required right now if you know the shell programming and all so later i will explain don't worry right now so this is also not required so let's come to this one okay jdk so these things we will finish today so from after that we will going to write a program okay so we will going to finish all these things today itself see here hmm. jdk so jdk is what it is a software okay jdk is a software it is a software development kit that comes with all the required tools and libraries for compiling debugging testing and executing the java programs that is the reason why i told you right java ecosystem is very very important if you don't have jdk how can you execute the program if you don't have ide no problem still i can able to execute the program but if you don't have jdk no it is not at all possible you cannot able to execute any program you cannot able to do the compilation you cannot able to do the debugging you cannot able to do the testing you cannot able to do the execution so this is the reason why jdk is a very very necessary component 
okay jdk is a very very necessary a necessary component for java programming that is what you need to understand here okay so further we will going to move here so here what are the tools you will going to find in this okay in the jdk what are the tools you will going to find i will show you in this you will going to find the java c you can ask me what is this java c java c is a compiler please understand here java c is a compiler i told you right it is a software okay this software is available in jdk clear everyone this software is available in jdk it is a primary java compiler a compiler included in the jdk for compiling the programs written in java bytecode java to bytecode i told you right in the diagram so you will going to have a source code like this okay give the source code to the compiler okay this compiler will going to generate this compiler will going to generate the bytecode that bytecode will be given to the interpreter that interpreter will going to generate the machine code okay it will give it to the what cpu finally you will going to get the output this is what exactly okay this is the uh, this is the exact process you can able to see in the java clear everyone everyone clear guys clear okay fine then further java compiler does not produce the final machine code i told you right very clearly so think like that this is the compiler okay think like that this is a compiler this compiler will not going to produce any kind of code okay that is executable code or object code or executable code it will not going to produce it will going to produce what kind of code that is call it as byte code we will call it as a intermediate code okay so compiler will going to produce a intermediate code that will not, uh, that will be understood by jvm jvm can able to understand that one okay i will show you don't, don't worry i will show you this is done ensure that java remains platform in, independent that is the reason why so this one i will going to write a program then i will show you okay i will going to write a program i will show you that one don't worry right now as well as diagram again jdb debugger okay so debugger debugger why it is suppose if you have any errors all those things then we can able to use this one a debugging tool is used to fix the errors that's it nothing else so here you can able to see java p java h headers java document java map stack all those things all these things are available in jdb so these are the things are available in jdk you should know this these things are very very important interview questions these are all interview questions okay clear next one we will see next one jre okay so this is also very very important uh, it's a runtime environment okay so when you get a byte code so we need a support for that okay we need a support for that uh, when you got a byte code in the interpreter you will going to get the byte code to run that particular byte code okay it need a support yes or not it need a support this what the interpreter will going to do finally it will going to convert it into machine code nothing but the hardware can able to understand that code we wanted to execute that code nothing but that time this will going to play an important role here okay this will going to play an important role that is called it as jre what is this jre is nothing but java runtime environment when you are executing a allow word so what are the requirements which are required for allow word so those support every support will be provided by jre okay jre will going to provide all the support which is required for that particular code you know, suppose think like that system.out.println you are printing okay inside you are printing something hello world like that what are the requirements which are required every support will be supported by java runtime environment so that is what exactly guess the word runtime okay you need to you need jre in order to execute your java programs that is what i told you very clearly okay fine let's see more uh, let's see further so here you can able to see here you will going to have a libraries okay so those libraries you can able to see this one these libraries will going to provide the framework this framework see suppose you wanted to learn the engineering uh, uh, you wanted to learn the engineering means you need a framework what is that framework you need a college university like that if you want to run the allo world in the ide you need all libraries framework is required okay some kind of big uh, collection libraries are required again frameworks are required 
so then only you can able to run that particular code so that is what exactly it is all about okay when you are uh, running a program any program simple program whatever the support is required all the support will be given by jre okay that is what so here you can able to see all the important libraries such as collection frameworks okay implementation stack queue balancer tree all the things multi threading synchronization etc etc whatever the things are required everything will be provided by java runtime environment okay so that is the reason why jdk okay jdk again jre okay again one more thing is jvm so these three are very very necessary in the java ecosystem okay so i think you people are understood java this is a command line tool is responsible for launching the jvm so you can able to see sir what is this java you can able to see uh, program name dot java when you write that automatically it will going to activate the jvm okay activate the jvm it means that okay so we are getting some byte code we have to execute that code okay so java compiler uh, given some kind of byte code we have to get active so that we can able to support all the requirements which are required for that particular code like that it will going to um, tell so immediately what happens jvm uh, will going to be launched again immediately this support will be given to that particular code so immediately you will going to get the hello world like that this is the reason why jvm uh, jre is required java runtime environment when you are running a program at the runtime you need some support yes or not you people are at the runtime nothing but you people are studying engineering uh, first sem uh, first sem second sem third sem fourth sem you people are in runtime environment so who will going to support your teachers management university will going to support that support is required right to become an engineer like that here also to execute the hello world all these libraries compiler whatever the things which are required for that particular code everything will be supported so then automatically you can able to run the program that's it very simple one i think clear guys you people are clear with that you people are clear with that guys you people are clear with that okay so some people will think java virtual machine is nothing but it's uh, something like vmware like that it is not basically it's not okay so we'll going to discuss about uh, jvm so that is java virtual machine very very important concept okay it's a very very important concept you should know this one okay so the uh, just uh, i will going to explain these things uh, i think yeah. okay we have a lot of time don't worry so not required this one this is also not required okay let's see this one okay fine no problem we will have this uh here guys uh, for jvm i will tell you uh here uh, i will explain about jvm what is this java virtual machine is nothing but basically it is a machine okay basically it is a machine like illusion okay it's a illusion you cannot able to touch, uh, touch it you can able to feel it but uh, just it is a it is a machine but uh, it's a illusion i can able to say it's an illusion okay you can able to see the compiled code is exact set of instructions that cpu requires to execute the program in java otherwise wait a minute i will going to give you one more slide in that uh, you can able to understand very clearly just a moment just a moment because uh, this is i feel this is not more than enough for you people i have one more i will give you that okay see this everybody can you able to see this guys please raise your hands can you able to see this guys everyone 
okay fine see this is the jvm architecture okay so what are the things are available in the jvm architecture is nothing but here you can able to say, see the class loader okay method area heap area stack area again pre c registers native methods again execution engine again native